new day, new creepypasta, going for Laughing Jack is next. Ah, oh, the demonic clown of the Slenderman house. Uh, I feel like that's a common thing, but uh, for the fan base is we tend to we usually tend to put specific creepypastas in a house ruled by one of the main heads, either Slenderman or Zal or Zalgo. And majority of the time, we put Laughing Jack as one of the followers of Slenderman. But, enough said and done. Let's get into the stories. All right, and now we dive into the backstory of Laughing Jack. Completely different character than Eyeless Jack, obviously. So we got Laughing Jack here. Do you want some candy, kiddo? Quote from Laughing Jack. Did you miss me, Isaac? Laughing Jack seen Isaac after being released from his box. Oh, I'm quite real, kiddo. In fact, I've been waiting such a long time for this day to finally come. When I can play with my best friend for life. One last time. Laughing Jack about to attack Isaac. So we got Laughing Jack is the titular main antagonist of the creepypasta story of the same name. He is a sadistic killer clown who was originally an imaginary friend to a little boy. That is, until the boy forgot about him. Follow his story through being made, forgotten, and become a sadistic killer clown who now seeks to murder young children. Orange. Created by a guardian angel, Laughing Jack was initially a colorful jack-in-the-box clown whose personality reflected the personality of his owners. He was later sent as a Christmas present to a lonely boy named Isaac Grossman in the 1800s. Isaac then abandoned Laughing Jack after being sent to a boarding school. Laughing Jack grew monochrome and emotionless as a result of his isolation. Meanwhile, Isaac grew up to become a cold-hearted serial killer who kidnapped, tortured, and murdered several innocent neighborhood residents. Although horrified at first, Laughing Jack's personality soon, soon emulated Isaac's evil personality. One day, Laughing Jack was accidentally released and he appeared to be a taller, darker, and demonic version of himself. Resentful of his traitorous owner, he tortured and killed Isaac with the same weapons he used on his victims. As time passed, Laughing Jack visited several other children, most of them lonely or neglected, and pretended to be their imaginary friend. However, he would eventually torture and kill them all with their souls trapped in the nightmarish realm of an abandoned fairground. To make matters worse, the song Pop Goes the Weasel plays in the background forever, tormenting them. That's... definitely something else. Laughing Jack used to be a colorful tan-skinned clown who would wear a brilliant rainbow attire with shaggy red hair and a long cone nose, after being abandoned for 13 years, his appearance changed to being completely monochrome, leaving him almost demonic looking. At first, Laughing Jack was an innocent, sweet, and pure hearted angelic creation who tried his best to comfort Isaac, considering how lonely he was. However, Isaac's late action significantly affected, in a particularly negative way, the gift, which became more and more disturbed and psychotic with time. Laughing Jack, originally colored, lost his hues as Isaac's actions corrupted it. 
Eventually, Laughing Jack became totally black and white as he reached a point of non-return and fully embraced his demonic form. Currently, Laughing Jack presents itself as a figure of pure evilness, remorse, or remorseless and violent in its very core, who take pleasure in killing and torturing those he was once designed to protect. Children. Laughing Jack is a magical being with incredible dark magical powers, being able to teleport an instant in a puff of pitch black smoke, turn himself invisible, and being able to mutilate the bodies of his victims. Jack is also able to create nightmares and visual hallucinations, presumably to parents, such as he did in the original story, and, use, and can use telekinesis to move objects with his mind, making his victims seem crazy. In an unspecified year in the modern era, Laughing Jack visited a lonely suburban five-year-old boy named James under the guise of an imaginary friend. James told his mother, but she dismissed it as a phase. One night, his mother had a nightmare witnessing the souls of Laughing Jack's past victims in an abandoned fairground. The next day, Laughing Jack places James's action figure on the on top of his mother's nightstand, presumably as a way to taunt her. She questions James, but he simply tells her the truth, much to her disbelief. Later, James receives a handful of candy from Laughing Jack in the garden. His mother notices this and demands him to tell her how he got it. James again tells her the truth, but she assumes that one of the next door neighbors gave him the candy. Laughing Jack eventually kills Fido, the family dog, hangs his body on the kitchen light fixtures, and trashes the rest of the kitchen. He also guts its stomach open and replaces it with candy. The mother witnessed this and took her son next door where she called the police. The police dismiss it as a robbery, but the mother refutes their assertions, claiming that all the doors were locked and none of the windows were open during the incident. She presumes that whoever did this was already inside her house prior to the incident. They both return home, and the mother decides to check on her son via the baby monitor. The mother hears a s soft moan and enters James's room, where she, s where she sees her son nailed to the wall, disemboweled with his eyes gouged and tongue and teeth removed. She also sees Laughing Jack in his true, monstrous form, who sadistically cackles at the sight of his work. Having enough, the mother grabbed a knife and tried to kill and tried to kill Laughing Jack, but he simply vanished into a black cloud. This distracted the mother, causing her to accidentally plunge her knife into James's beating heart instead, killing him instantly. The police arrest her and send her to the uh, Firopolos house for the criminally insane. She claims that being institutionalized is not what is not that bad, despite noting that somebody, presumably Laughing Jack, keeps playing Pop Goes the Weasel outside her room. Laughing Jack was created by Steve Aikens, Snuffbomb, and he appeared in the stories Laughing Jack and The Origin of Laughing Jack. It is unknown just what the creature of Laughing Jack is, with popular suggestions being a demon or even a demigod. Although he started off as a normal ma magical imaginary friend, eliminating these two options. Since he's imaginary, he's ageless. Laughing Jack is like a ragdoll and has no internal organs or genitals. His chest is filled with stuffing and his costume is part of his body. Jack solely targets young children as his victims. He is extremely dangerous. Laughing Jack is a vile, twisted, and sick creature who both kills children and breaks their parents' minds. He is a monster that is fully capable of mutilating and violently murdering anybody he deems as worthy to be his friend. Oh, this one actually has true art instead of the other ones. Now, this one, however. If it can load, yep. See, that one's. That one seems more like Laughing Jack.
There's that. Uh, I think that's like a picture, like that would show when he teleports away. Because there's the also the black smoke going around him. Oh, okay. I think I get this picture. Like, it's what Jack used to look like beforehand, and this is what he looks like now after all the abandonment. Okay. Got that one. Yeah, got that one too. Uh, the the freaking lollipop. Hey, you want some candy, kiddo? That's when you're about to die. Yeah, this one actually has some good uh, pieces of art with it, so I don't need to go to Google for fan art now. <laughs> hey, you. Yes, you. Behind the camera. Thanks for sticking around till the end. Hey, this entire month of October 2022... There's going to be one creepypasta video a day throughout the entire month. So, if you don't want to miss the chance of catching the next one being uploaded, make sure to hit the subscribe button down below, ring the bell for notification. And if you really liked this video, make sure to leave a like on the video as well. Put a comment down below, tell me what you thought of it. But other than that, I'll see you all in the next one. Peace.